Hey guys, Jared back. So alrighty, here it is, finally. Sanogen Mod 11 for your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now this is one of two of the first AOS, uh, I was gonna say AOSPA, but that's Paranoid Android. This is one of the first of two um, AOSP based um, completely custom ROMs for your Galaxy Note 3. Previously, we were only able to flash um, custom stock firmwares. Uh, a lot of really, really impressive ones that I've already reviewed for you guys out, uh, um, previously, but uh, this is a, a big, big step forward towards um, future development for the Galaxy Note 3, which is just awesome to see. Now, this is an extremely early build. Um, some people are claiming that they're able to use it as a daily driver, though based on um, all of the different um, you know, posts on XDA and things like that, that I've read for both the T-Mobile as well as the um, uh, international ver uh, versions. It's it's not a daily driver. Don't expect it to be. But if you want to play around with it and you know make it a daily driver, go ahead. But I've been hearing issues with the camera, with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, um, phone calls, um, you know, audio, all kinds of issues. But point is it is working as you can see so well you know doing that doesn't show you I guess doing this would show you more um, so we'll jo jump into the camera here the camera is in fact working for me as you can see I can take pictures though it takes a little while uh, I can also click on the um, video recorder and actually start recording video as you can see works actually quicker than the camera does or the uh, photo taking uh, part of the camera does um, and then that's pretty much it other than of course we have whisper push the new Sanjman's new uh, encrypted SMS application which is cool um, so and of course if we long press there you go everything as you can see everything's working um, even Wi-Fi now this is the international n9005 version the T-Mobile version for my Canadian um, version it did not work because the developer is just either too lazy or or didn't care to remove a couple of lines of code uh, to make it that much more compatible with basically Canadian versions, which is, you know, because us Canadians, we've been flashing T-Mobile ROMs on our devices lately. So anyways, uh, a little disappointing there, which is why I flashed the international version. And I didn't even have to include the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC fix. Everything was packed in there, ready to go. So um, in fact, I'll actually just show you, as you can see here, it is in fact picking up on my Wi-Fi uh, network. So that's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this down and let's just jump right into settings settings here. Uh, of course, we have lock screen settings, as you would expect with all Cyanogen mod um, ROMs. We do have, of course, the themes um, engine there. And of course, jumping into interface here, uh, limited at this point in time, status bar, a couple of app options in there. Same thing with quick settings panel. Of course, I'm not going to be giving you guys a review. This is by no means a review. It's more of a hands-on just because since it's so fresh, there's no point in reviewing it. I'm, I'm not even going to be keeping it on my device after this because I know that there's going to be a ton of wake locks and things like that. Anyways, I digress. I'm getting back on track here in general. So we've got a bunch of different, um, you know, options in here for your quick settings panel. Um, of course, some for your notification drawer and we've got expanded desktop. Backing out of there though, if we move down to display and lights, we've got a couple of extra options in here. Um, adaptive backlight, the pulse notification lights and battery lights like you would expect. And jumping into buttons here, of course, some different button can, uh, customization, your backlights, your power menus and so on, what you can do with your volume buttons and stuff like that. And if we move on down a little bit more to that, we get launch music application once you plug in an auxiliary or a headset into your uh, 3.5 mil headphones jack. And if we move on down a little bit more from there, we can actually jump into security here. And if we continue to scroll on a little bit more, we can get down to privacy guard, blacklist, SMS message limit. Uh, you can register for whisper push, but jumping in a privacy guard here, click OK. Um, we can actually click on the overflow, click on advanced, and we are now in app ops, uh, which was a feature that a lot of people were looking for in uh, or looking forward to in 4.4. Um, and other than that, we go ahead and jump into about phone. As you can see, we all have all of these standard signage and mod stuff. Uh, of course, it's Android 4.4.2, and as you can see, this is a Galaxy Note 3. So this is awesome. Um, this is absolutely fantastic what we've go, got going on here. It's like I said before, it's a big step forward towards um, you know uh, seeing more ROMs coming up for the Galaxy Note 3 in the future. Hopefully, we start seeing AOKP. Paranoid Android and other really, really popular AOSP based uh, custom ROMs um, kind of follow suit. Um, I mean, if Sanj Mod can do it, then those guys should be able to do it. Uh, and pretty soon too, I, I'm, my guesstimation is probably within the next 30 days, you guys are gonna start seeing some of the major um, AOSP based uh, custom ROMs starting to be uh, ported over uh, or built for the Galaxy Note 3. Anyways guys, that's it for this one. Just kind of a little teaser, a little hands-on video for you. Hopefully you liked it. If 
if you did, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this one. That's it. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.